Alright, in this tutorial I want to talk primarily about how we change some segment settings. In the previous tutorial, the roller coaster uh, went straight through um, the brake section and the station without actually stopping. Now we can fix that um, in one of two ways. We could actually drag um, the brake section out so that it's a bit longer. Um, by the way, I should have said before that if you drag a segment out and you're not quite happy with um, how straight that segment is, we can go to edit and make straight and you'll see that that should straighten up that segment of track which is a really handy tool or of course if I undo that I could just select the segment and press I on my keyboard and that will straighten up the segment. So we could do that although I'm going to show you another way um, to fix up this problem and that is if we double click on the brake segment it brings up this menu and we can actually change some settings now it's really important that you don't change settings uh, that you haven't been asked to change here so I just want to focus on two on the speed limit and on deceleration now I'm not going to change the speed limit this time uh, but what that actually s describes is um, how fast the coaster can travel before the brakes are applied. So at the moment, if I'm traveling less than 20 kilometers an hour, then the brakes won't be applied. But if I should go faster than that, then they're gonna come, um, come into effect. But I wanna look specifically at deceleration, and that just describes how quickly um, the train comes to a stop. So it's me measured in terms of G-force, and at the moment, it's being applied at about 1.2 Gs. I'm going to really beef this up and try uh, 3.2 Gs. Now, that's really aggressive braking, okay? Um, the amount of G-force that might be applied in a Formula One racing car um, in extreme circumstances might be 3 or 4 Gs. So we're talking about really extreme forces here. Let's just select that and say OK. Now we'll ride uh, this simulation in a moment, but I want to make a few other changes. Let's double click on the lift segment and we can change how quickly it's lifting up. So let's change that from 8 to, oh, I'm going to type in 20 on my keyboard. Um, I could change how fast it's um, accelerating and how quickly it decelerates, but I'm happy with those settings. Let's say OK. And lastly, um, I just want to show you that we can change the settings on the track segment as well. So if I select this segment of track down here and double click, you can see that I can do a few things. I can apply a tunnel, which um, we'll see what that looks like in a second. And I can also um, apply individual track colors. Now I can change the colors here, but unless I've actually selected uh, this option, then that color won't be visible. So let's select it, and I'm going to change this uh, to black, and we'll make the rail color black as well, and we'll leave the tire color white. And so, oh, let's change that to yellow, actually. So hopefully that will be visible as we go around. So let's say OK to that. Um, at this stage, I'm going to save my work. So I'm going to click on the Save button, and now I'm going to ride the simulator. Okay, so as the roller coaster leaves the station and starts to go up the lift, you'll notice, if I just pause here, immediately looking at the, the top of the display screen here is SPD, or speed, and that tells me that I'm travelling at 20 kilometres an hour, which is the speed I just typed in to that segment of track. Um, if I travel uh, across to the right, there's vert, lat, and ac. They stand for vertical, latitudinal, and acceleration. And that just is, tells us the g-force that's happening in those particular areas. So vertical, um, how much g-force is being applied to me? Am I being pushed down into my seat, or am I being lifted out of my seat as I go over the rise of the top of a hill? 
latitudinal just describes am I being shifted to the left or to the right um, as I go around the corner um, in my roller coaster and acceleration how quickly am I um, accelerating or how quickly am I stopping um, the roller coaster ride so let's press uh, pause again to speed up the ride a bit And as we uh, come down the other side, remember to look out for our tunnel. Okay, so we can see our tunnel ahead of us. And as we go through, keep an eye out for the yellow um, tie colors. Okay, so you can see the yellow um, ties there. And as we come out the other side, our brakes are aggressively applied and we come to a complete stop. So let's escape out of that simulation. You might now want to go and experiment with some of those segment settings yourself and try um, adjusting um, the speeds and the acceleration or deceleration um, a little bit. That's the end of this tutorial.